days of mourning for the musical icon Prince Gro across the globe. His friends and family are grieving in private. They gathered to mourn him over the weekend at his estate. That's the spot where eyes are now turning, though, as questions swirl about unreleased songs that may be stored there. Well, Dominic Romano is an entertainment lawyer and founder of the Romano Law Firm. Hi there. You're joining me from our New York bureau. There's a discussion, and a number of sources have said that there is a vault with unreleased material, uh, and also there's future sales potentially. What happens in that case? It depends on whether there's a will or not. If he's left a will, uh, then uh, if the directions will be in that document as to what is to happen with the music. But, you know, in his audio, his former audio engineer, Tom Garneau, said when he left in 1996, after working there from 89, there were about 50 albums of unreleased music. And that was 20 years ago. So one can only speculate as to what the value might be of all that unreleased music. Yeah, he was very prolific. So what happens to the rights of the music uh, that already we know and love, like Purple Rain? I'm going to gratuitously play a sound and a little bit of it because we can. Since his death, uh, sales of this song, this album, have increased as everybody kind of gets very nostalgic. But whoever inherits his musical catalogue has a huge responsibility. Absolutely. And under Minnesota law, reportedly, if he dies without a will, uh, his sister would be in control, his sole uh, surviving family member. His parents are deceased. He had no living children at the time of his death. Uh, but for someone who was so meticulous about his finances, controlling the copyright and controlling his image uh, and, and his songs. For someone who, for example, you can't find Prince's music on Spotify or a lot of other music streaming services. It's hard to find any of his music on YouTube because he was so controlling of that image of that music. It, it's, it really seems unlikely that he would not have left specific directions over, for example, what happens uh, to the control of a song like Purple Rain. Prince. So, and, and as you alluded to it, I mean, he recently won back control of his catalogue. He, he owned the masters. I mean, that was rare for a musician, wasn't it? Very rare. And he was very much a pioneer of that. Uh, between 1996 and 2004, he didn't have that control. He got it back. And, you know, the, it was very important to him. So one would imagine that he would have left very specific instructions on what to do with his music after he's gone. Not just the music that's released, but also what's in those vaults. But there's still the possibility that whoever inherits this catalogue of, of old songs and potentially new songs might have a, a different idea on, of, of what to do with them. I mean, is there also perhaps the danger of much of this material being licensed out to, I don't know, Broadway's one thing, but you don't want it on a toothpaste commercial? No, th th that's true. And, uh, you know, for, and, and that... We're talking about very significant assets here. Just to put it in context, uh, Adele's net worth is reported to be around 75 million. David Bowie at the time of his death, 100 million. We're talking about a $300 million estate. And the reason it's worth so much is he played a lot of his own instruments on those recordings. He, he owned the music, he owned the masters, he wrote the songs by himself, many of them. And so, you know, he was very much in control. So. Probably there are not directions that would permit the song to be used, the, some of these songs to be used in a toothpaste co commercial. But we saw when Michael Jackson uh, died after 2009 that there was extensive licensing, about a billion dollars worth. So whoever's in control of that Prince music, the Prince estate, uh, might have uh, plenty of work to do, depending on what those written directions uh, indicate. Yeah, and as all of that happening, as people try and still digest uh, the news that he has gone. Thank you so much, Dominic Romano, there. Thank you. Pleasure.